Well done. Welcome. Can we have some water to drink? Okay, please. Sir. Is there some water please? Please, how many do you want? Just one. Did you get the one? Why is she hiding? Do you mind if she go home with me? How? Oh, we're out here for a walk and she needs not to go with you to anywhere. I want to see him. Help me, please. Help me. Help me. What is it? I want to see you, Silas. For what? We asked a question and we didn't answer. Our people have been killed by Tosson. What? Killed? Yes. Igwe, I heard a rumor that people of Umbez have bribed the governor to take over that land. Igwe Mekoku was seen. A changing presentries last week will govern the government house. No, not rumors. It is true. What are we waiting for? What are we waiting for? You actually know that the Igbo has invested in so much in the campaign. What are we waiting for? Igwe, what is it, young man? Why are you breathing so heavily as if the lion is chasing you? Igwe, may our God bless you. Speak on, speak out! Igwe, our people have been killed by thugs from Umeza town. What? You mean they were killed by those slums from Umeza? Yes, Chief. Impossible! Igwe! No! Where and how did this happen? Igwe, I'm. I'm just coming from that boundary lad near the women's stream. Where we were there weeding on the farmland barely 30 minutes ago, where some strange looking men appeared and demanded for water, which I did give them, Igwe. I gave them. What I heard, what I heard was gunshots shooting our people. Igwe, I managed to escape. I escaped, Igwe. But I believe that our people are dead. No! To flag what? Young man, you may go. Igwe. A goat has eaten thorns on her head. Igwe, I suggest 
we shall strike back. No going back. Your Highness, the people of Umeze have taken more than they can chew. This is the third time they have put their hands into our eyes. My fellow chiefs, I think war is the final solution. Yes! Ah! The only answer to it. Why we are here? Elders of our land, we have come to protest the killing of our people by those comes of Umuese. This is not the first time or the second time we are receiving such insults from them. Or is it now a crime for us to farm on our own land? No! Then, we must not fold our arms and what this is sound killing. Ume Jim must retaliate. Yes, we must. We are here to ask you for permission to strike back. Ume Jim, Kwenu. Yeah. Kwenu. Yeah. Where's Yeah. Um, you have spoken well, and I am happy that you conducted yourselves peacefully. However, before you came. We have heard about the killing and we are deliberating on it. What I will assure Umwejim is that justice must be done. Yes! Within a short time, you will hear from us through the town crier of our decision. We must show the Umwejim that we are equal to the task. Yes, we are! We shall speak with the Igwe. And whatever his decision is, we shall let you know. Excuse me, my children. I think we would like to speak to you. Hmm. You don't repeat, I come to check for me. No, I'm not seeing him. Maybe you'll see him. She'll be coming. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. 
Who is that? Open that, go and check who's at your door. Yes, sir. Woman, can I have a test of your food? Husband must be lucky to have like a wife. That's great. I suppose this is going to be your last meal. But but uh, excuse me. I love you. Get on your knees. I have your last prayer. Do it.
the food is us. Is this the right way to the market square? Exactly, that's the way. I mean this way? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. That's right. But sir, Shh. a word from you. Get down! Please, sir! Please, no. please, sir! No. Please. No. please! I said, get this girl into the bar! Please! No. 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 Get it! Shut the trap! Tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, you will leave for Umuji. Tell the king that we are a peace-loving people and that we do not want war. We are also convinced that we can find a peaceful solution to the current problem that we have. Yes, Your Highness. Uh, but, Your Highness, but at the risk of uh, sounding pessimistic, mm -hmm. suppose all our entreaties for truce and for peace mm -hmm. fail. What next? There is no other alternative than war. Because we must show the government that we are peace loving people. Well, if all our overtures for peace are rebuffed, then the government will not blame us for whatever action we take to preserve our integrity. Now, having said that, um, tomorrow as you go, take some guards along with you. Even though they know that you are coming and they have assured us of your security, all the same, we should not take chances. Hmm? Yes, Your Highness. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Royal Highness. Igwe Nana. I salute you. Chiefs and members of the cabinet. I salute you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. My brothers of Umwejim, I am here on behalf of my Igwe, Igwe Omekokulu, and the entire people of Umweze. We extend our brotherly hand of peace to you.
Oh no, please sit down. You must remember that Umwejim and Umweze, according to history, are brothers. That is why we wonder why we should kill each other because of mere piece of land. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know there's problem. But let us find a peaceful means of solving the problem. A peaceful means of settling the dispute. Johannes, that's why I'm here. I thank you very much. You have spoken very well. Thank you, Highness. I am also very, very happy to hear that we are brothers. But I want to ask you one question. Can't you Stay away from that land. <laughs> it is obviously known that that land belongs to us. I don't like shedding blood, especially the blood of my brothers. Your Highness, can't we ascertain true ownership of that land? by presenting authentic documents as approved by government so that the committee appointed to look into this matter will do its work and present its findings. Your suggestion is very, very commendable. Thank you. So we shall wait and see what comes next. But please tell your king, Igwe Omekoku, that I promise him that there will be no more bloodshed amongst us. Your Highness, may you live very long. Of the cabinet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, since we have uh, broken out peace, I guess the two towns can visit each other and do things together. Certainly. Certainly. I want you to beg. Please know that we are very serious and there will be no more bloodshed. Mm -hmm. And that I am looking forward to really whining and dining. Oh, yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we should be about going, Your Highness. As you go, yes, Your Highness. go peacefully. Thank you so much. And may Ahmad Yoha guard you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness. Let's go. Let's go. Bruce! Bruce! Yes, Your Majesty. You see, my good chiefs, Ibe. There is nothing like a broker in peace. Mm -hmm. this is good. There has been too much of killing. Yes. There has been too much of destruction. I want to thank you for this support. 
God will continue to bless all of you. He will. What's happening here? Somebody help me! He help me! What is it? Help! What's help! Here? Help! Somebody oh, help no. me! Oh, help! No. What is it? What help! Is it? Help! 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 Yeah, they got the drugs with them. Don't move! I have to move by shoot! Put your foot in the air! Nobody move! Shoot! Hey now! Come on! Put your foot in the air! Come on, lay down! Come on, lay down! Put your foot in the air! Come on, lay down! Put your foot in the air! Come on, lay down! Put your foot in the air! Come on, lay down! Put your foot in the air! Come on, lay down! Put your foot in the air! Come on, lay down! Put your foot in the air! Put down! Please, please. Put your faces down! Go down! Please, 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 Part of the peace treaty that your people demanded from my people. in the air, and only one of them is called the king of birds. That is the eagle. Are you afraid of a lion without a tail? Are you? No, no your majesty. majesty. Are you? Never, your majesty. Good. <laughs> I am that ant. That even the elephants fear. Shall I stay back and watch a merciless Tyrant, butcher my people. No! I will defend them with the last drop of my blood. Look at that poor man. Only last night he was wiped out with his entire family. What of his crime? Nothing! Except that it belongs to Moese and people from Owegi. 
wiped him out. How many times does the lion leap? How many times? Once, Your Majesty. How many times? You twice. How many times? None, Your Majesty. How many? None, Your Majesty. I see that you don't know. All right. I will crush that animal. I will crush him with my bare hands. So he knows the difference between both of us. I am assured by the gods that protect me that no weapon found against me will work. That land belongs to us. And I know that I shall succeed in taking that land because the gods assure me that I will. You hear what she said? There is going to be more. She, my friend, you people are making noise. This is not as sweet as your, 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 when your, your wife your you, 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 you know it's not my wife. Yes, indeed, you can help me. So, how can we help you? <laughs> That's a beautiful question. How can you help me? Idiots. 
I therefore do not want to see you people roaming around in the palace. Because the situation is very, very tense. And I want you all to start things properly and enough. Pass this on to other people. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes, yes Your Majesty. Majesty. Now you can go. Bobby. He's taking charge of outside. Good. Like I have discussed with you, don't spend any time. Kill! I mean, slaughter them like fowls, for they have insulted us enough. Go and avenge the souls of our brothers that were killed last week. And I want to warn each and every one of you. If you don't kill more than 200 people, I mean 200 people, I will make sure I send each and every one of you to hell. Have I made myself clear? Yes. Your Majesty, your orders must be carried out. Now go. Go and avenge our brothers who were killed and who desperately seek vengeance. Bruce, take a look at that stuff. Yeah, Tell me when I had that stuff for years, man. You can go and have that. Why don't we have the food? No, I don't want to have that. I want to have it. Go play my feet. Don't worry. I'm sure. Going. Uh, no, I don't know why. Why are you carrying this thing? It because I'm on official duty. Can I sit down? Sorry, my seat is very small. No, <laughs> we're here for your security. No problem, Mama. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay. You're thank you. welcome.
That this, I mean, your, your, your attire is so beautiful, uh, just as usual. And what you must put on if you're a traditional ruler. Are you serious? Don't worry, one day, someday, when you sit here, you get it to all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who is she? Uh, uh, the girl I told you on the phone. Her name is Abigail. Abigail Efedora. Mm. Yeah. Abigail, this is my dad. Igwe Omekopulu one of Umwezi. It's a pleasure meeting you, Your Highness. Mm. Abigail, you just passed your first test. Thank you, sir. That's a fine choice my son made. I don't mind saying it in front of you. And uh, now I know why he's been spending sleepless nights. Uh, 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 don't start now. Don't start this. <laughs> All right, right. Please rise, my daughter. Thank you. Uh, oh, uh, yes. girl works in one of the um, very established media houses in the city. Uh, Abigail, where do you come from? Uh, I come from Omoejin, from the family of Ifediora. Ifediora. If I dare, uh, um, Are you related to Igwen Nana in any way? Of course. He's my father. I should have known that when I saw those eyes, because those eyes belong to him. Your father was a very adventurous rascal when we were youngsters. Uh, <laughs> We always hunted lizards together as boys, and um, 
Nah, he, he was a very fine footballer. He didn't develop those kids, but he was a very fine footballer. <laughs> How is he? Yeah, he's doing very well, sir. Da, that was yeah. years ago. Don't tell me you know for all these your skills. No, I, I have a very fine memory. It's a long time those things happen, but you see, when you are as close to her father as I am, you don't forget such things easily. Um, I know that you must be tired at the end of a long journey. Take her inside, let her eat something. Then after you have refreshed yourself, you can come back and let's talk again. Come yes, on. Dad, uh, we really have to talk. Mm. This is a wonderful world, and a very curious world. The daughter of my arch enemy, under my own roof. Okay, I'm sorry. You see, I wanted a woman who loved me not because I'm a prince, but because I'm Murphy. Now that I believe you, I love you dearly. And I'm sorry for hiding myself from you. I'm sorry too. I'm sorry for not Hear from your mother? Um, that was precisely a month ago. I miss her very much. She's my source of strength, gives me support. Uh, I miss her. I miss her. Come on, Dad. <laughs> I know how much you love her. And I also know you miss her. And I believe she misses you also in the States. Yeah. Besides, she's, she's going to be back soon. And you see, it's because of the support that she lends me. I will always insist that any girl you're going to marry must be as strong as your mother. Dad, you can always count on Abigail. She's strong, beautiful, intelligent. I mean, she has everything in my mother. You trust me now. Well, ordinarily, when a young man is in love, he sees qualities in a woman that hardly exists. So it's only natural. And there is something I want to tell you which I think just might upset you a little bit. But you see, facts are facts and um, we can't ignore them. You see, by sleeping with Abigail, you are sleeping with an enemy. So your relationship cannot work. No, no, no. I, I, I don't understand you. Um, you know that we are at war with the people of Umweji. Abigail is the daughter of the king of Bumweji. Can you now understand? Me? But Dad, what has that got to do with our relationship? It has got everything to do with your relationship. You know, you're beginning to sound like a stranger. Can't you see the signs? To allow you, my son, 
an heir to my kingdom, to get married to a girl who is the daughter of my arch enemy, that is sacrilege. I will not do it there. I don't give you a damn about this tradition, Dad. Look, at my age, I know what I am talking about. There are so many pretty girls, intelligent girls, brilliant girls out there. Pick any one of them, and I'll give you my blessing. Anyone but Abigail. Dad. Yes? Can I ask you a question? Yes, go on. Were you in love with my mom before you married her? Very much. Are they in love with her? Okay. I still am. Okay, you've answered my question now. Good. Dad. Yes. It's either Abigail, or I'm ready to educate the throne. What? Since you're not interested in my happiness. All right. Since you insist on Abigail because she can guarantee you happiness, let it be so. Whenever you're ready for the celebration, let me know. So I can wine and dine with you. <laughs> no, that is not true. This is not just true. <laughs> I know you understand. I know you understand. That, 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 that. Thanks so much, Dad. All right. Your Highness, mm -hmm. it seems you are not seeing what I'm seeing. What are you seeing? Don't you realize that the so-called wife-to-be, your son, brought all the way from the city, is the daughter of our enemy, Igwe mm -hmm. I know. Huh? Yes, yeah, I know. Igwe, you know? <laughs> yes, I know. You know and you allowed her pass the night in this palace? Hey! That girl is being used as a trap to us. Your son's life is not safe. It will make hair while the sun shine. Uh, I think I know what to do, except that um, there's a little problem. Problem? Mm. What's problem? My son. He may not be very easy to handle. Your son? Mm. Ah, but you are his father. And besides, you are the Igwe of this land. Every authority lands on your head. And the lives and the properties of Umese lies on your hands too. Every problem has a solution. You are my kid sister. Uh, yes. I and I thank you for your concern. Am I not the lion? Yes, you are the lion. Good. Anyway, you are. I am the lion. There is a solution. There is a solution. That's why. I am the liar. I got a phone call from your mother yesterday. She said she'll be arriving in Nigeria in the next two months. Really? Mm. I can't wait to see her. I miss her so much. I miss her too. Miss her terribly. That woman means the entire world to me. <laughs> Dad, don't tell me you've not lost your romantic values yet. Have I stopped looking like a human being? <laughs> I also have a heart, you know. <laughs> At this age? <laughs> yes. By the way, what about your heartthrob? Uh, sorry, uh, she left yesterday. I didn't want to disturb your nap as she was leaving. Mm, I see. She's been staying with you all this while? Of course not. We're not married yet. Yeah. That's my son. That's uh, why I have always trusted your judgment. Uh, but I hear she was staying pretty close to you. Mm, not really. I stay at Dariki while she stays at uh, Wuse. Um, number four up on Sisi Street, phase two. Mm. Number four. Abdulaziz Street. 
face too. I think I know that place. Oh, Tell me you know that place. Oh yes, I do. <laughs> Everywhere, even Abuja, you know, everywhere. You think I do? Circumcised father. Where were you last night? I was at my duty post, Your Highness. No, you were not. You were not. Are you not afraid of the lion? You tried to rip my dearest sister last night. Yes, you did. No, Your Highness. That's not true. This is fallacious. My statement fallacious? You dare call my statement fallacious? You heard it, didn't you? Arrest him. Move it. Lock him up. I let him be without food or water for the next seven days. That will make him responsible. No, father. Typically unfair. Why don't listen to him first before passing judgment? Besides, this is your best guard. I'm not saying Auntie's lying though. Dad. I love fair trying to prevail. Please. Spoken not just like a true son of your father, but also with his wisdom. I have heard you. You know, there are so many things that a man in authority should not do. 
One of them is of your mind barking from such a distance? Who are you talking about? You know who I'm talking about and don't deny it. Don't deny what? I wasn't talking to you! Huh? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Prince, what have I done? Now let me warn you. Stay clear from that girl. I know you hate her and I don't care. Don't let me start hating you. In fact, I hate you! Oh, shut up. God. She's your auntie. You know that. Until my foot want her to stay clear from my business. Okay. Get your hands off me. God. God. Ah. <sighs> okay. Moff, listen. We are trying to save this town. And you especially. That girl is a trap. Please listen to your father. Aren't you a trap in this house? Why are you in my father's house? You don't deserve to be here. Go back to your own husband's house. I said shut up. <sighs> this woman is my sister. You talk to her with some respect. Dad, she does not deserve my respect. I see. Now I know that that charm is actually working. All right? Go and look for her. I know you know where she is. And I know what you're capable of doing. I also know you are the lion. 
But remember, a lion can never give back to a goat. I'm equally a lion. Ha! Huh? You started this race, and I'll finish it. Son, I've tried to show you some understanding, but I'm beginning to realize that you don't deserve it. Now, don't let my wrath come down heavily on you. Don't. Um, I don't want to be hard on you, but I tell you something. Real men act. They don't just bark and bark and bark, no. Oh, yeah? They act. So I'm barking, Dad. Oh, yeah? I'm barking. If the cap fits you, son, wear it. Go ahead, put it on. I swear to God, if not for one thing, I could have given you the biggest shock of your life. Huh? And you! Son? What did you just say? Give me your father the shock of my life? All right. I tell you what you've just done. You've just dug your own grave. Now let's see how you're lying it. Jaguar! Yes, Your Highness. Now grab this idiot. Lock him up. Torture him. Feed him once a day. Let's try to make him reasonable. Now! Yes, Your Highness. Is that all? Seize him! Is that all? I expect more of that from you. I expect more of that from you. I will not give up. I will not give up. I expect more from you. I will not give up. I will not give up. Do more than that. I will not give up. Dad, you can't stop me from getting married to my heart desire. I don't care about the problems you're having with Umo Umoize. All I care about is my happiness. Then you are a selfish girl. Your mother wasn't selfish. Oh. How I wish she was still alive. My daughter, all I want is for you to understand me. I am not preventing you from your choice of husband. But it is only to save you and this town. Remember, I am the king, the Igwe. The welfare of the people of Ubojim is my responsibility. Look, Dad, that is not the case. That is not the issue here. The issue at hand is the happiness of your daughter. Forget about this land dispute. Forget about the land. Oh, are you trying to tell me that this land problem is more important than the life of your daughter? I have tried to make you see a reason why things have to be like this. But it seems you are proving difficult. Very soon, our people will be going to war with the people of Umweze. And they are trying to use you against us. I have to use every other thing other than words to achieve my objectives rather than allow you be a major obstacle. See? Well, in that case, tomorrow morning, 
I will leave this place for the city. And never ever will I ever step my face into this town anymore. Good day. Abigail. Are you walking out on your father just like that? Now listen to me. And listen good. Starting from today, you are not to set foot out of this palace until the crisis is over. Are you... Are you trying to say that I will not go to the city? What about my job? You will forget about that, your stipend job. I am competent of taking care of your needs. Listen, my princess. Your life is more important to me. No! 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 Dad, I, I will not let you hold me hostage in this, in this godforsaken palace. I won't. It's not possible. You won't do it. I won't let you do it. I will let you know that I have the right, since you will not stop to see this. Bruce! Bruce! Yes, Your Majesty. Starting from today, my daughter is not to step foot out of this palace. She will be under surveillance for the 24 hours of a day. This is crazy! Absolute madness! <laughs> Dad, you were supposed to be an educated man. Why do you allow yourself to be so influenced by greed and selfishness? Would you shut up your dirty mouth? And if you dare talk to me like that again, you will regret today you me as your father. So, yeah? Look, Dad. I have already started regretting ever having you as a father. Bruce! What are you standing there doing? Would you take this stupid thing out of my sight? And call me Salome. Get your filthy hands off me. will regret this. My daughter has been given orders not to step foot out of this palace. And you are to attend to her needs. Whatever she wants to get out of this palace, you will go and get it for her. Your job is to stay with her always. Yes, Your Highness. Salome. Be very careful. She's very smart. Thank you. 
Hey! Any problem? Can I help you? No. Um, I want to see my brother. Your brother? Yes. So, who is your brother? Raja. Oh. Raja. My sister? Yes. Hold on for a while. Okay. I get him. How are you? I'm fine. Hope no problem. No, no problem. Um, Mama gave me this letter to give to you. Mama. Yes. Trouble. How is she? She's fine. Well, uh, tell her I'll see her by the riverside tomorrow. Okay. I'll tell her. Um, hi, it's Papa. Papa. Papa is fine. Oh, no problem. No, okay. no problem. Okay. I'll be on my way now, eh? Okay. Take care. Hurry up. Uh, before the sunset. Okay, alright, I will. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye. Hey, Raja. You have some sweet sister here, man. Alright. Uh, I wouldn't mind being your in-law. Thank you. But that's your problem. How can it be your problem? Yeah. Darling, our fate lies in us, but be rest assured that we shall make it in the next. <laughs> Dearest man, as for your plans towards the situation of things now, I have no objection. I accept it, and I wish to see you again more than ever before. And on that day, by the riverside, I shall see your face. <laughs> Though it's risky, very, very risky, but it's worth trying. And I'm ready to take that risk just to be with you, see your face, my love, <laughs> ever yours.
Jaguar, 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 you could do. If the money not there, Jaguar could do. If Jaguar not there, hey. And I won't go there. Jaguar, Jaguar. Jaguar. What is going on here? Inside the palace. Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? We are in the middle of a war. And instead of keeping awake to avoid being surprised by the enemy, we're all here, drunk and sleepy. We're sorry, yeah. Your Highness. Who kept that ladder there? Who kept that ladder there?
go and check the place in the cell quickly. Yes, Your Highness. Look at you. Just look at you. Look at you. I give all of you specific directives on what to do. And you're here. All sprawled out and drunk. Your Highness. Yes. Yes! The prince is not in the cell. <gasps> what? Somebody I placed under your care 24 hours is not in the cell. Now listen to me. The only way you can avoid being beheaded, all of you, is if you can get out now and bring me the prince here. Have you heard me? And if you don't want me to roast all of you alive, I am giving you 48 hours to bring back the prince here. If you find him in the company of the princess, behead two of them, bring me their heads here. Yes, Your Highness. Now, let's go. It's not late, we have to go and get them. Move it! Move! Move it! Move! Move! Gentlemen and ladies, this is the beginning of the whole thing. The genesis. Nobody gives up. Understand? If you are know you are going to give up, you better start going back now, or else I'm gonna pull a trigger on you. Okay? Yes. Let's yes. go. My role is nobody catches follow me before me. Right, you <laughs> do just hand over to me. Are you sure Murphy will be waiting for us? I'm sure. He'll be waiting. The guard told me. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Let's do this now.
Come on, man, please. We are almost there. That way, my friends. That way. What is it? Come on. This belongs to Raja. I know so. That means we are on the right track. Let's go. Move it. Move. Move it. Raja, are you sure that Messi gets to Abigail? Yes, my prince. I gave it to Salome myself. Raja, then where is she? My prince, they will soon be here. I told her they meet us after the river. The boundary between us, us and them. I hope nothing has happened to Abigail. No, my prince. Stop thinking negative. But positive. My prince, here is not safe. Let's find somewhere to hide. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait.
Follow me. Yes, princess. Are you sure this is the place? Yes, I'm sure. That is the river he told me. He said immediately we'll cross the river. They'll be here waiting for us. But how come there's no one in sight? I don't know. Oh, do you want me to scream their names so they will know we are here waiting for them? <sighs> Let's give them some more time, okay? Okay. Let's just pray they come here because I'm so tired. Princess. Princess. Mm -hmm. Can we go under this mango tree and hide to avoid being noticed by any passerby? This mango tree. Okay, yes, so you're right. Yes,
Raja, I don't know how to thank you for all this. I don't know how to... I don't know how to reward you for all this, Raja. My prince. But you saved my life. Count on me anytime you need my service. This is my father's chief maid. She's the one that helped me out of the palace. Salome, we thank you so much for everything. We appreciate everything. May God be with you. But I have only one regret. Princess, you're leaving me. Sir. But please, remember me on your wedding day. Salome. Please come. I am handing over my beloved one to you. Please take good care of her for me. Don't let anything happen to her. Please. Will, my princess. The situation now is very tense. We have to go. Bye bye. Bye bye, my princess. Salome. Take care of my friend. You don't have problem. Raja. My prince. Please stay alive. And you too, my prince. Bye bye, princess. Kill you just like that. I dropped my gun. I want to show you what I can do to you with my bare hands. Bastard. Idiot. Get with that and finish you. 
Get back to you. What has become of my son that he no longer listens to me, his father? I know that that witch introduced into this family must have cast a spell on him. He will learn. So this is your diabolical plan. To use your daughter as a bait to trap my son and then kill him. I told you, I told you that the enemy is at work again. Now your only son has been kidnapped right in this palace at the middle of the night. <sighs> Wonders shall never end. Who knows? Who knows if he might have been killed? I believe that my son is still alive until my guards tell me something to the contrary. Oh, Igwe, you believe that your son is still alive? Ha! Huh. 
or make up one of whom is Igwe, are you no more the lion again? Are you not? Ha! Huh? You are the lion that can withstand any confrontation. Igwe, do something. Do something before the day turns tonight. Thank you, Machi. I shall do something. But not until I have heard from my gods. Did you find my son? Did you see him? Did you bring him back? Uh, maybe Machi is right after all. All right, you can go now. Go. Go. Whoever planned to kidnap my son does not know the meaning of my name. Nana, by kidnapping my son, you're not playing with fire. Because water can douse fire. You are daring the mamba. I hope you can stand my response. I sincerely hope you can. Nana. The gods are back. The gods are back. And they could not bring my daughter back. What? Why? I want her. I want her against him. But she would not listen. See what she has cost. Igwe, does it mean that those guards did to protect her were not competent enough? I suspect sabotage. Hey. There is something fishy. Really fishy. There is something fishy, Igwe. How can the enemy come into your palace and take her away. I will tell challenge. <laughs> Those guards must be patient thoroughly. Yes. And punished. Yes. If found guilty. Oh, wow. Thoroughly punished. Thoroughly punished. My good chiefs. Ibe. The people of Umuese have insulted us enough. Yes. Hey. Enough is enough. They are calling for war. Yes! They will get it. But my daughter must be found. Then, the blood of every Ubuese person shall flow on their streets. Bam. Be it children, <laughs> pregnant women. Yes. In fact, every single being must smell our wrath. Hey, Bobby, where do, you, where do you think you're going to? Oh, my God. Muffy, why, why are you looking like this? It's a long story. Where have you been? Everybody has been looking for you. Bobby, please, can we at least go inside and talk? Why not? Let's go in, let's go in. That's what you how can we stake our happiness for a tussle over a piece of land? Imagine how people go about killing themselves. Making enemies for just a piece of land. The land that will finally claim them. Well, it's ignorance. I'm so sorry for everything. Okay? Um, as for the house, it's as good as yours. You two can stay here as long as you want. Feel free and be comfortable. Bobby, you've been so wonderful to me. No, don't. What are friends for? I suggest you both 
remain steadfast to your commitment. The enemies must realize their mistakes one day. Love knows no tradition. Just know yourselves and believe in your decision. Um, I think I should run along now. In case you need anything, just feel free. The house is all yours. But remember, I'm not a good cook. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm sure we can manage. Okay. Muffy, have a nice day, please. Thank I'll you see you guys later. Okay? <sighs> Sorry too. You will leave this mission and you'll go by air. Their informant will be waiting for you at the airport. No point disclosing his identity. He's a renowned son of the soil and very reliable. You must not fail in this mission. Bring her home here alive. You will leave tomorrow morning. You can go now. May you live forever, Your Highness. Thank you. Ndioma. I am expecting some visitors tomorrow. And I want to entertain them with the all maiden dance. I want you to arrange that dance. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Your Highness. You can go now. Traveled this morning with Murphy. Traveled? I should have known that. You mean he, he didn't inform you he was traveling? No, he didn't. Oh. Anyway, when he comes back, tell him that I called him. I will tell him. <laughs> Thanks for calling. Bye. Have a nice day. Let me help you. Bye. Bye-bye. Tell 
how what we are here for. Don't be scared. Just cooperate. <laughs> so this is the beautiful thing that has been taking us all over. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's go. This meeting is to broker peace between your communities and to find a lasting solution to the problem of the disputed land. As you all are aware, it is the prerogative of the government to safeguard the lives and property of her citizens. Government cannot fold her hands and watch her citizens live in fear. Now, I want your cooperation in this matter. So at the end, peace shall reign. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Commissioner. You see, I wonder why this piece of land is always referred to as disputed. Will every Tom, Dick, and Harry know that that land belongs to who is it? Honorable question. You have spoken very well. But with my colleague there, what he has said is false. Really because I remember vividly when I was 16 years of age, my grandfather let Igwe Nana Omerwaha used to farm on that land, and that was pre colonial era. Yes. Even my late father used to farm on that land. They used to take me a 16-year-old boy with on the hand and they used to drag me to the farm. It was only when this Igwe Omekokulu came to the throne did they realize that that land belonged to them. Your Royal Highness, Igwe Nana, would you respect? You said that at 16, your grandfather, your father, were both taking you to that piece of land to go and farm. Let us be reasonable. Let us be realistic. At 16, you couldn't have known who owned that land. At 16, you couldn't have occupied yourself with the right ownership of that land. Furthermore, the fact that your father and your grandfather farmed on that land is no indication that the land belonged to them. Yes, it's not. Huh? You are right. I mean, it may have been leased out to them. Yes, you don't even right. know. Igwe right. Yes. I want you to know that at the age of 16, I could differentiate between what was right and what was wrong. Yes, you're correct. And I was telling you that my grandfather and my father took me to that land for farming, and they told me a lot about that land. 
How come that your grandparent and your father did not query about that land until you came to power? Oh. Good question. You see, there is something I want you to do. What is it? You want me to know? What do you want me to do? Are you telling me about that? I see. Calm down. We are here for settlement, not to worsen the problem. You see, be advised that if you refuse to comply, that the government will take adequate measures to redress the situation. Having said this, since both of you are laying claims to the land, you are expected to forward to this office from today documents showing proof of ownership. Do you have any question? Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Commissioner. You see, there is something... There is nothing you are going to tell me in this place. I am addressing the Honorable Commissioner, not you. There is nothing, Honorable Commissioner. Look at that. Come down. Bring the documents. Go on and bring the documents. is burned with fire on its head. If it carries that fire throughout its life and gets consumed by it, there's nobody to blame. <laughs> Your riddles mean nothing to me. For all I know is that when the at one prostrates to the earth, it opens its mouth. I see. You are not afraid of the thunder. Very well, you will soon feel it. For when the lion roars, all the other animals in the jungle scamper for safety. Let me warn you for the very last time, steer clear of that land. I will not warn you again. Who is afraid of the storm that thunders without bringing forth rain? We shall see. Wait for me. Your Igwe's are killing themselves. And you people will come here today in order to kill yourselves. Eh? We are not here for quarrel, we are here for peace. Um, the spokesperson of uh, Umweze. Yes. We want you to come out here yes. and show us where, to the best of your knowledge, the boundary of the disputed land is. Good in this place. Yes. Let him do. Yes. Come on. Yes. yes. Everything. All of them. Uh, 
I, I, I think uh, it, it started from there. Yes. And over there, yeah. all these places, yeah. including here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what did I just say? I told you. They don't know the boundary. At all, at all. Okay. 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 It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Now, uh, the spokesman of uh, Umwejim, yes, come out here and show us where the boundary, your own boundary, yes. of the disputed land is. Chairman, yes. you see that palm tree there? Yes. Down to that uh, oil beam tree? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Baka. Uh -huh. I mean, that's simple. Down there. That's the proper boundary. Yeah. Nothing more than that. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, elders of the line, we're assuring you that very soon everything will be put in place. But we wouldn't like any of you to take laws into his hands. Soon. Soon, 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 soon. I'm tired of soon. Yes. Since I was a child, I heard that Jesus Christ will come soon. Oh. And yet, yes, yes. What are you implying? No, what do you mean by that? What are you implying? We don't rest you. 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 So, as, uh, as I was saying, some disgruntled youths from Umwezi have gone to some of our villages, killed our people and destroyed property, notwithstanding the fact that they killed my daughter. <sighs> the people of Umweze are in close pursuit. Let us show them that we are ready because this is our chance. Yes. yes. Our chance to take back what belongs to us. Apart from all this, they have also declared a war huh? on us. Can they do it, Iwe? Can they do it? <laughs> it is not true. Iwe is saying the truth. The information that I just have seen that are preparing for a full fledged war. <laughs> that, that, that is why I have called you here for us to discuss the matter. The people of Umweze are in close pursuit. Let us show them that we are ready. For this is our chance. Yes. yes. A chance to claim back what belongs to us. Yes. 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 When the rain falls, the birds in the air stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> Your Highness, the youths are ready, lusting for a fight. Let us go and give them what we are known for. What? Yes, let us go. <laughs> I have waited for this opportunity. And thank God that I have been blessed and my blood flows so wild. <laughs> Your Highness, there shall be no market tomorrow. Assemble all the able-bodied men in the marketplace. I want to speak to them. Your Highness, your message must be delivered. Ichi Omenka. Your Highness. Make sure you see the high priest. Tell him to consult with the oracles. 
my good chiefs. The security of our town is a paramount. Yes. You must make sure that this town is properly secured. I trust you all. You History must be repeated. I told you that we shall meet at the village square. For some reason which I will not disclose now, I decided that we meet here today. I look at your faces. I see excitement. I can understand your jubilation. Because your prowess in battle sends jitters down the spines of your enemy. So while you celebrate in anticipation of engagement, your enemy cowers with its legs, with its tail between its legs, looking for a hiding place. That is not a surprise. Because our history shows that we have never been vanquished by any enemy. That is a tradition that was set for us by our forefathers, by the founding fathers of Umueze. And you are proud products of such rich heritage. Proud products of this enviable tradition. It will remain so because we are used to it. And we cannot help it. I have a mandate for you. For the next three months, I want the entire community of Umweji Mooran. All their men put to the sword 
and all their daughters dragged away into captivity. They shall be our slaves. And that arrogant, impudent king of theirs brought here to me as a captive. Because while I hold him in captivity, I will give at his face every morning. It will help to sustain my pride of place. At the first, among equals, it will prop up my ego at the lion of Umueze. It will sustain my pride as Igwe the Meko one. I know you can do it, and I know that you will do it. We shall go! We shall go! Good. Igwe, your word must be obeyed, and I repeat, must be obeyed. Whatever you want to be destroyed shall be destroyed right away. Igwe. Igwe. The pleasure of Umweze is to conquer. For daring the lion that sent jitters down the spine of other animals, Umweji must be destroyed. Our frames are quaking. Our blood is boiling. We are ready to defend our land, no matter the cost. We are ready to fight Umweji people, even with the last drop of our blood. We are going to fight, and we must conquer. It is a promise, Igwe. Igwe! Your Highness, all you need is victory. And victory is sure. May you be forever, Your Highness. Rise!
Oh my God. They almost killed everybody in the palace. They captured some of us. But Agatha are fighting back. I'm sure Moeze will not get away with that. What are you talking about? It's true, Agatha are fighting back. Do you know they almost killed me when they captured Igwe Nana? God of Moeze, you mean they captured our Igwe? I just hope they don't kill him.
she must have gone to somewhere. I don't think so, Bob. I don't think so. Don't you notice the door was not properly locked? And the room, the room is partially disorganized. And even the TV set in the room is still on, Bob. Oh, God. Oh, that's so careless. Like this. Bob, we should have taken her to Ghana with us, Bob. We should have taken her to Ghana with us! Murphy. Murphy. If, if you mean what you're saying, why don't we rush to the station immediately? Hi. Let's do everything. Let's do it, please. Come on. Why can't father leave me alone? He has been toiling on my happiness just for selfish reasons. God. God. Let no harm before her. Let no harm before Abigail. I know my father is responsible for Abigail's kidnapping. And who he called information about her hideout remains a mystery to me. I won't mind dying that succumb to his wish. Anyway, let me get to the village first. I think I need to see him. Let me get to the village first. Son, you know, I thought you had been apprehended by the enemy. I like your style. Go ahead, Ankyo. Go ahead. But let me tell you something, Father. If anything happens to that girl, I'll drop my last blood for you. Yeah, well, you all have families. And, um, one of those very rare cases when sometimes you are compelled to handle an incipient rebellion. All right, councillors, um, we'll postpone this meeting. Probably we'll assemble again tomorrow. Igwe! to try to reason with me. I am the Igwe of Umueze. That means that the responsibility for protecting the lives and property of every individual in this community rests squarely on me. I owe them that obligation. You may not understand this, but that girl is not just a threat to you alone but to the entire community. Father, you want me to reason with you, but you can't even appreciate human feelings. Why was you bent on punishing that innocent girl? Why? You prefer a piece of human to the happiness of your son, your only son. Gosh. All right, son, you've made your point. Now let's talk like father and son. Sit down. Sit down. You heard me. I said, sit down.
באמת? document or lose something that is very very precious to you the choice is yours I'd rather die than put my signature on a piece of paper denying my people their right I would never succumb to that good <clears throat> very well then gods try it Bring in the second captive immediately. Listen carefully. I am giving you a last chance to sign this document, or you leave me with the painful duty of skinning your daughter alive before you. seconds to make up your mind. All of 60 seconds. They don't kill me. They don't kill me. 15 seconds gone. Oh, Daddy, please. please. Daddy, don't let them kill me, please. Daddy, my life is more important than that land. You have 30 seconds left. Daddy, please, now don't let them kill me. I see that this is beginning to look like a joke to you. <laughs> Gods! Fire. Take her. <laughs> Do it! Let me have the pen. Give me the pen. I'm glad that at last you're being reasonable. Here. Give me that. <laughs> You're killing time. You're killing time. Boss, don't let him die without signing this document. Take him away. Revive him and bring him back here.
but that I had I said leave in your own interest. But I, I, I leave in your own interest. Leave now. Anyway, I'll leave. Searched everywhere. We found neither the man nor the daughter. That's not true. Inspector, this man sitting down here is my father. And I know what he's capable of doing. I'm very, very sure he has killed them. That's my son. I like him because he knows me and he knows what I can do. Yes, I have killed them. I have killed them. Does that surprise you? I told him that if he does not sign that document, giving that land to me, I will kill him and kill his daughter. He did not sign the document, so I killed them. And, um, you were lucky, so extremely lucky. If you had not run away, I would have killed you too. I am ready for the consequences. We do respect, sir. Just to follow us to the station for further investigation. Let's go. Let me just say one thing. I want Umu Ejim and indeed posterity to always remember that I am the lion of Umu Eze. Whatever I say is what I do and proudly. I am going to face the consequences for all my actions. I have no regrets. But let it be recorded that I am the lion and I don't regret anything that I do. Hey, why are we killing and fighting when there's no love in my love, man? I'm from love. Oh, oh, oh. This desire. Born in like fire in the deep of the line of the Why are we killing the 